Hi, my name is Hendrik and I want to show you a demo of a new open source project that I have out on GitHub. Uh, it's called Impressionist and it's actually a editor or creator for Impress.js uh, presentations. So if you've never uh, seen an Impress.js presentation before. I'm going to show you just that just quickly. Impress.js uh, was created several years ago uh, by uh, a developer called uh, Vartek. Um, and it, it's uh, basically a, a browser-based presentation framework. So you can use just HTML and CSS to create really awesome presentations in 3D even. Uh, so uh, this is the official demo created by Bartek, which you might have seen. So it starts like, you know, traditional rectangular slides. Uh, but then suddenly when you navigate here, it moves out to this awesome an animation in the browser. Uh, so you can rotate stuff, it can be bigger and smaller. Uh, and eventually even there is like a tilt to a three-dimensional space. If, if you read the source code comments, uh, it's Star Wars references all over. And there is the 3D twist, which uh, for example, Prezi is a similar tool, which is an open source anyway. Uh, but also cannot do 3D. So this was the official Impress.js uh, presentation demo. So I created uh, a tool on GitHub called Impressionist. My GitHub, GitHub account, uh, Henrik Ingo. <coughs> uh, mainly because I have some friends who thought that creating uh, presentations uh, directly in HTML uh, isn't what they want to do or even know how to do. And even for myself, I, I felt it was tedious or, or really difficult to do a uh, really nice three-dimensional uh, presentations by just trying to think about the X, Y and Z rotations. In, in my head. So I have created a tool where, where I can do that graphically. Um, so if, uh, if you go to the GitHub repository, there is no packaging at the moment. This is very new. Uh -huh. uh, so there is a short how to how you clone it with Git. Uh, you need to also init some sub modules. Uh, and then it's, it's based on uh, a framework called Electron, which is, uh, uh, which means node. Uh, so, so you use N npm install and npm start. You also need to have a GCC install it because it, it's actually compiling Electron. Electron contains Chrome, uh, the, the Chrome browser. Uh, so uh, let me start what I have now in Impressionist for a short demo. Sorry. I've already done the install. So let's do a start. And there is just one simple menu. Uh, so when you, when you start, it's blank. And we can open something here. So let me open actually from templates, the one called official demos. It's the same one you just saw. And each, this is like always in the case of HTML, uh, it's actually a directory with HTML and CSS and images and, and all whatever you want to have in your presentation. And by convention, the index.html is the actual file you want to open. So this is the same presentation we have just seen. We can even navigate here. But uh, what is cooler... Uh, so we, all, we also have a, what I call a camera. So if, if you want to 
you can move move around here. Uh, that's uh, that's gonna take a long time. So of course you can you can type something here as well if you want. But uh, we also have these kind of controls where you can pan and zoom as you want. So uh, let me rotate this a little bit. Ro rotation is here on the right hand side. Like this. So this is, uh, if, if you always wondered what the official demo really looks like, this is what it looked like. Uh, we can also rotate it a little bit along the y-axis. And here it is. So uh, da down here we have the, oh, sorry. Down here we have the, the last slide, which is the one that's actually in 3D. This is what it looks like. What's interesting, oh, sorry. What's interesting is here, uh, far below everything else. So, so basically all of this presentation is like in one plane here, but far below everything else is this one slide which zooms along the z-axis, right? So uh, now if I, if I scale this, you will see where it was. So it, it was just far behind the word big. <coughs> All right. Uh, let's jump back to the beginning. And uh, I'll scale out a little bit on the camera. So if you move to the tab which is, says uh, step, you don't need to show this. By the way, you can also hide the numbers if you don't want to. But uh, for this demo, I will keep the coordinates open. So uh, in addition to uh, in addition to moving around the camera, which is what we've just done, we can look around and. Uh, see what the presentation looks like. If we move to the step, uh, we can use the same controls to start moving the slide we are on. So we can move it here, for example. Uh, we can also turn it around. I believe that was around the, around the Z axis. Uh, looks a bit unusual to be honest. Uh, so now uh, if I go to this slide it's actually moved uh, oh, to a different location. And uh, and when I go to the next one it, it of course has to animate to the other side. <coughs> uh, we could actually turn this around because that's gonna look nice. So, so instead of having you know, all the slides in a sequence, we, we could just uh, you know turn one upside down, and this is what uh, what it would look like. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, I need to switch back to camera, of course, because I wanted to zoom out. Um, Missed that one a little bit. All right, uh, let's position this differently. All right, there we have a slide. So in addition to, to just moving slides, I've integrated tiny uh, MC editor. So uh, if, if you want to, if you have more to say, uh, you just click on the slide and
So this is how you can edit. You can, we can jump to another slide and edit that one as well. Okay, uh, so once you're done, uh, you would have to save. So uh, actually now I opened the template directly. I don't want to save it. Um, currently, I could of course save this file, but it's actually only going to save the index.html file. So what you would typically do uh, instead, uh, you would probably, you know, copy a template. Uh, so let me copy the one uh, that says cube, for example. Uh, and then I will go somewhere else. And uh, rename this. All right. So uh, let's go back and I'll just forget about this one, open the other one. So instead of, uh, instead of opening a template directly, I'm actually gonna open the copy I just did. Uh, this is what it looks like. This is quite a funny presentation. Uh, so uh, it, it has six, exactly six slides uh, and I put the measure cube and, and I did this precisely so that uh, I could explore a little bit what it looks like to really work in 3D, uh, much more than the official demo is uh, doing. So this is what the cube looks like. Now it's disappearing a little bit, so I need to jump to, to the other side to move it, but this is what a cube looks like. Uh, and. Uh, of course, if I if I want to move, if I don't want it to be a cube, but I want to move some of the steps, I'll just go to the step side and, oh, sorry. As you can see, it's fairly rough still. So let's zoom out a little bit again. All right, now uh, we can move to the step side. And then we can move this step here. Maybe move it deeper on the Z axis. Then I jump to step two. Uh, I always like to scale out a little bit on the camera so, so you see more what's happening. And now, of course, uh, step one is somewhere else completely. So it's easy to even kind of <laughs> lose track of where you are. Uh, but uh, if we go switch to step uh, tab, we can, uh, we can move that one as well. If, and if, if I wanted to write something, you know, I, I could start writing content on these slides. bullet point because this is a presentation.
Nu kommer det. Where do I find the link? This one. All right. I made it a link. Uh, so now, uh, because I made uh, a new folder, I could even save this presentation, and there it is. Uh, so, uh, it, this is still very new, uh, but if you know how to clone a Git repository, how to do npm install, uh, for, uh, even though it has to compile even, uh, you know, check this out. I think Impress.js is really cool and that's why I wanted to create this tool to create even cooler presentations than you've ever done before. And uh, if you get really interested, Feel free to help out. It's of course JavaScript all the way. So if you know Impress.js, you can probably work with this as well. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, I will do more demo demos when there is more to talk about. Ciao.